The fountains in Mainz are working again for the pleasure of its inhabitants. For years, they rationed the water. Money was too tight. The first anti-COVID vaccine changed all that. The town has made a fortune thanks to this. We are very happy. It makes all sorts of new projects possible. It's a real achievement, especially considering it's down to just one company. Here in the appropriately named Goldmine Street is the headquarters of BioNTech, the now world-famous lab that's paid Mainz over a billion euros of corporation tax, a windfall for one of the most indebted cities in the country. We're going to pay back all our debts by the end of this year, 700 million euros. Financially, that gives the municipality a lot more room for manoeuvre. The budget surplus will be spent on electric buses and new trams, as well as renovating schools and swimming pools. But Mainz also intends to use the BioNTech effect to become Europe's number one biotech hub. A year ago, Krishna Raj Rajalingam launched his own cancer research company. We all benefited by BioNTech successes. I mean, the entire biotech industry and the confidence from the investors have gone up as well because of BioNTech success. No recruitment problems either. Candidates have never been so numerous in Mainz. This is for sure uh, making Mainz famous and uh, in general the area became very research oriented. 100 million euros will be invested around the university campus to attract new companies with 5,000 new jobs and the ambition to become the biggest pharmacy on the planet.